Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a rainbow fish Halloween tutorial today. This is the inspiration. And I'm gonna start by priming my face, putting some foundation and concealer, and then setting it. I wanted a nice white type of base. So I am using a lighter foundation than my skin tone and I'm bringing it down the neck. And then the concealer is also gonna help lighten it up a little bit. And I thought that would just help with the color pigments to show up a little bit better. And then also you do wanna put a base down so that your colors stick. It's just like priming your lids. Then I'm gonna take some fishnet stockings, put them over my head and look just a little weird, no big deal. Then I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and this light blue shade and I'm gonna put that anywhere where I would normally bronze my face. So I'm trying to give a blue tint to my face and then we're gonna go in and deepen it up. So uh, the temples, the cheekbones, nose, chin, and then we're gonna go in with a deeper blue color and put that in the areas where we would contour. So basically right behind or underneath that. So under the light blue in the cheek and then on the sides of the temples. And then with the purple, I'm just gonna kinda hit it in these same areas, just a little bit higher or in front of the blue, the lighter blue shade. And then I'm taking a bunch of NYX pigments. I will leave the names below. And I'm using these to give myself that scaly, sparkly kind of look. These are shimmery and I think they give a really pretty effect. So the lighter ones go in the highlighted areas where you would normally highlight your face and or the inside perimeter of your face and the darker colors go on the outside perimeter. For the nose, I do suggest maybe trying to take a little bit more time and make sure that it looks good because I don't think that this, the way that I have the stocking on my nose turned out how I wanted it. Here I'm taking some NYX glitter primer and I am trying to recreate the very sparkly scales that were on the cover of the book. And then I'm gonna give you a nice close up of how dirty I got doing this look. I am taking the stocking off right now, but I actually suggest doing the neck before you take the stocking off. I suggest taking the stocking off at the very last second. You don't want to mess up the scales. And I do actually end up kind of messing up some of the scales because I took the stocking off too early. Here I'm taking some of that NYX glitter primer and I'm putting it in my eyebrows and then I'm throwing on the blue pigment on my eyebrows. And then I'm throwing on some purple pigment and blending it out with a pink eyeshadow from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Just to give myself a little bit of pink in there because he does have some pink scales. And then I'm running some of the blue pigment under my eyes. And here just a little bit of purple on the cheeks some green around in areas. And then here I'm doing the neck. Now you can see it does, it will eventually kind of ruin the dimension, the definition of the scales that we had going, but um, that's okay. It, I think it ended up turning out really well. It just suggests not taking the stocking off until the very last minute. Then I'm gonna take some mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Mascara and I'm going to put on a little bit of the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black and pop on my lashes. And then I am gonna do my ears. So I'm just putting the fishnet up and coloring it in. Then this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Naked is just gonna make my lips look a little bit more nude. And then I'm going to put the pigments in the center, trying to make it look like I have fish lips. And you wanna make them the same color as the rest of your skin. And I also did my hand too, just for picture purposes. And here I'm just kind of deepening up the contour and the scales and the colors a little bit. But like I said, I do really think that you should wait to take the fishnet off. Here I'm just kind of extending the liquid liner and then I'm putting the pigment over it. I wanted to make it look kind of like a fin. So once you put the pigment on and brush it away, it stays where the liquid liner is. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed my Rainbow Fish Halloween tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I do post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye.